Tonight, the Clark County Sheriff's Office says they are investigating a so-called serial trailer thief that they believe is responsible for stealing dozens of utility trailers in the Portland, Vancouver area and then allegedly selling them online. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy is live in Vancouver today to tell us about the scope of the suspect's alleged operation and what you might want to do to keep your trailer safe. Connor, what can you tell us? Well, Anna and Riel, investigators here in Clark County, confirm with us that 32-year-old Nicholas Edwards is being investigated in connection with six different cases, but they believe he could be connected up to 60 different cases here in southwest Washington and the Portland area. Now, they're hoping community members who might have unknowingly bought a trailer from Edwards will come forward. A serial utility trailer thief, the Clark County Sheriff's Office says, operated across state lines. It feels violating for, for victims to have any type of property stolen from them. Sergeant Chris Skidmore with the Clark County Sheriff's Office says law enforcement arrested 32-year-old Nicholas Edwards, whose operation allegedly involved stealing trailers with and without registration to sell them online for cash. So far, investigators have confirmed a potential link to six cases, but say there could be more. We believe there could be upwards 50, 60 trailers involved with this individual. Take a look at these pictures provided by the sheriff's office. Investigators say Edwards is accused of using these two trucks to not only steal the trailers, but transport them to potential buyers. Edwards went by other names on social media like WebJJ, Joshua James, and Joshua J. Webb. They allege that if the trailer was registered, he would forge titles and other paperwork with these fake names. We understand that these these are you know quality of life crimes that affect people. Like I said, especially with this, you know, if, if someone relies on that dump trailer in order to to do the job or to run their landscaping business, like that's a big out for them. But we hear about it all the time. It is definitely an issue. Uh, and so it's good that they were arrested. Camden Bush works for Trailers Plus Portland, a business that sells utility trailers. He says a common question asked by customers is how to keep a new trailer secure and safe. And the answer is really everything you can do, which starts with when you purchase the trailer, register it. In Oregon, registering a trailer with the DMV is not required by law, but in Washington it is. Bush and law enforcement say this is a critical first step to have a stolen trailer like this one be returned to you if it's found. I mean, it's like buying a car. You wouldn't go buy a car and then not register it in your name. Bush says you can also buy heavy-duty locks like this one that make it hard for thieves to cut through. He also suggests running a chain through the wheel or axle with a master lock on it to keep it from being towed away. Everything you can do to protect it, I strongly recommend, whether that be locks or parking it in your garage, uh, parking your vehicle in front of it is a good option too. Now, Edwards was arraigned today here in Clark County on multiple charges, but he pleaded not guilty to charges of vehicle, uh, possession of a stolen vehicle, theft, and stolen property, and he was released from jail on bond. Now, if you do recognize those cars that you just saw during my story and you believe that you unknowingly bought a car or a trailer, excuse me, from Edwards, you are asked to call detectives, and we do have contact information on our website at kptv.com. But for now, reporting live in Vancouver, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. All right, Connor, thank you. A